The STOC is the Space Telescope Operations Control Center. And in the STOC is where we control Hubble. We control it on a day-to-day -day basis. So all the activities we do, the pointing the telescope at the different targets, the different stars, the different galaxies, getting the data back down, sending commands up to tell it where to point, moving it, oriented in different positions, all that originates in the stock. We have a crew that's there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, controlling the telescope. In normal day-to-day -day operations, we don't perform the science activities here. We're really running the telescope. The scientists are up at the Science Institute in Baltimore, so the data is going to come back down through us and then get sent up to the scientists in Baltimore, and then they're going to decode the data and understand what those pictures mean. It's a, a different operational atmosphere for a servicing mission versus nominal operations. For a regular day-to-day, -day, we only have about three or so people really watching the telescope. And telescopes are built very robustly. If they have a problem, they take care of themselves, they put themselves in a safe state, and you go back and you isolate the problem and fix to see what happened later on. The difference is during a servicing mission, the astronauts can only be out for six hours roughly at a time, and that's because of a limit on how much oxygen and water they carry on board. So if a problem occurs, we don't have the luxury of talking about it and debating what the right course of action is. We have to take action right away. So we have a team of experts who are on console. Somebody's watching the power, somebody's watching the communications, somebody's watching how the telescope will point, and if they see a problem in one of those subsystems, they alert the rest of the team, and we have to quickly diagnose that problem and come up with a resolution because the astronauts, they can't stand around. If they're standing around, then something's not going to get done. So after we get released from the shuttle, we're going to go through a series of commissioning exercises to make sure each of these cameras is working correctly, each of these instruments. So we're going to test them out over a series of months to make sure that the picture that we hope to get is really there. And just like learning how to use any new camera, you have to play with a little bit to try to get the exact focus, exact orientation so it's working correctly. So it really takes about four to five months after we release from the shuttle before the telescope is completely back and working and operational again.